I go to CP101 and this is a start of a new project. Uh, this one is being sponsored by HDA Model Works. They're sponsoring two of our builds. This one and the Constitution. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, Jerry carries uh, model kits now. He carries all kinds of stuff. Uh, I forgot just how much uh, stuff he carried. He has really expanded out. I mean, he carries... Uh, course electronic components and light kits and uh, photo etch like uh, from uh, green strawberry and paragraphics uh, carries uh, paint masks uh, power supplies putty masking tape from a micron uh, oh my goodness uh, he carries so much stuff now uh, model kits uh, a lot of Star Trek kits Star Wars kits uh, just just uh, everything. I mean, he's t turning into a big hobby shop that uh, carries just about everything you need for your modeling uh, hobby. But uh, I'll put a link in the video description right to his page to this particular kit. This is a great kit. As you can see, it's Land of the Giants. And it uh, came on in 68. Uh, it ran for a couple years. I think it ended in 1970. But it was really, really popular uh, back then. I think it was probably one of the most popular of the Irwin Allen uh, TV shows I was on at that time. Because I remember Land of the Giants w was everywhere. Uh, not only in model kits, but it was in comic books, uh, board games, uh, trading cards, uh, lunch boxes. I mean, Land of Giants was everywhere uh, back then. So it was really a cool TV show. Um, now this kit, uh, as I said, was originally put out in 1968 from uh, Aurora. And then uh, when it was released again, it was released by Polar Lights. And then uh, now it's being released by a new company on the block. And I didn't realize that these guys were a fairly new company out of Georgia. So it's nice to see another model company. A spring up right here in the uh, US these guys are just uh, like I said down in Lawrenceville Georgia I think and uh, they plan on uh, producing uh, more model kits and they're going to specialize in uh, uh, fantasy and sci-fi and comic book related model kits so that's kind of cool I think I'm really going to keep my eye on these guys um, so you know we're just we're just having all kinds of uh, uh, cool companies spring up. You know, we got Atlantis bringing out us uh, all the older Ravel and Monogram and uh, Aurora kits, and now we're going to have uh, Doll and Hobby uh, producing some great kits. So, it's going to be a fun year uh, next year. going to be a lot of cool stuff. As you can see, Doll and Hobby has given it new artwork, box art, so it's uh, pretty cool. Back here, we'll show you the kits I put together and paint it up with the uh, new backdrop that they include. <clears throat> so that's kind of cool. And uh, it's a 148th in scale, so it's not really, really big. You won't need a whole lot of shelf space for this one. Uh, so that's kind of nice. But, um, We'll take a look at the kit here. Uh, we'll look at uh, some of the pieces, parts. Taking everything out of the bag so we don't have to open up bags. But here is the backdrop. As I said, it's two sided, and you have the one side of grass, and the other side has a spin drift, which is pretty cool. And then you have uh, the instructions, which. Uh, 
So they give you suggested paint colors, how to display your model, and uh, tips on painting your model. So that's pretty cool, kind of like Aurora used to with their old uh, kits. And then uh, the instructions are kind of sort of similar to Aurora, how they did theirs. So that's pretty cool. Here is the base, which is pretty nice. It comes molded in like a cream color. Thank goodness, no molded in black. Uh, here is uh, the figures, which are molded pretty, pretty nice. I don't see a whole lot of flash on this, so they've done a good job of keeping the molds that cleaned up. Here is the uh, nameplate. Here is the uh, back side of the uh, figures. And we got uh, the snake head, which is uh, left and right side, which is pretty nice. Uh, pretty detailed, actually. Pretty good. Kind of see that there. Let me uh, then we got uh, the two pieces that form the inside of the mouth of the snake, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm going to assume they go together. Yep, they go together like this. So we have the mouth, which is uh, pretty detailed actually. And we have the fangs up here. And then we have the body of the snake. This is the bottom of the snake where it goes on to the base. Got some really nice detailing on those scales. The, uh, they're cut nice and deep, so uh, that'll make it much easier to paint. Here's some more of the snake body. tail tabs for the snake. Okay. And then the other half of the body, so you can kind of see that there. Really some nice detailing on that. Alright guys, that's it. Uh, we'll get cracking on this kit, uh, getting it put together. Uh, it's not going to take us too long to get it together. and. Uh, start uh, figuring out our color palette, what colors we're going to go with, and have some fun. Alright guys, uh, until the next video, take care, and we'll see you then.